With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Welcome friends, our question is the marks obtained out of 100 by a class of 80 students are given below. So there are the marks given below of the 80 students out of 100 construct a histogram to represent the data. So we have to construct the histogram to present this data. Okay, so we can see this data. Here the class intervals are of unequal width. We can see that here is 10, here is 10, here is 20, here is 20, here is 30 means 10, 20, 30 means unequal width. Okay. Now we shall first input compute adjusted frequencies of each class. Okay. Means the minimum class size here. You can see that minimum class size here that is 20 minus 10 is equal to 10. So this is the minimum class size. Okay, this is the minimum class size is 20 minus 10 is equal to 10. So we will use here the adjusted frequency. So the formula of adjusted frequency is that is adjusted. Adjusted frequency. Is equals to. It is equals to minimum class size. So minimum class size 10. So we will put here. I am writing here that minimum class size divided by divided by the class size class size multiplied by frequency okay multiplied by the frequency now we'll use this formula compute the adjusted frequency of all the of all the given data so i'm writing here i'm making here the table Okay, this column for the marks, this for the number of students, and this column for the adjusted. Okay, now we'll write here the marks, we'll write here the number of students. Okay, and we'll write here the adjusted frequency. Okay, now this 20 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 50, 50 to 70, 70 to 100, given in the portion. Now number of students that is 6, 17, 15, 16 and 26. Now adjusted frequency for the first one will be here. Formula is minimum class size is 10 divided by the class size is 10 multiplied by the frequency is 6. So 10 by 2 from here will come 6, 10 to 10 cancel out and here minimum class size is 10. And class size is here also 10 and the frequency is 7, so it is 7. Now here minimum class size is 10 and here the class size is 20. Here it is 50 minus 30 is 20 multiplied by 50. So this will come 7.5. Now here minimum class size is 10 and here this class size is 20 multiplied by 16 is equals to 8. Now this minimum class size is 10 and here maximum class size is 30 of this and uh, we can see is 26 so here it will come 8.66 now we will draw the histogram for this given data okay now this is our given data we will draw the histogram for this data okay so we are drawing here the data we are drawing here the histogram so here we'll take here we'll take the adjusted frequency okay and on x axis we'll take the class limits okay okay so here we'll take the class limit and here We'll take the adjusted frequency. Okay, I'm writing here that is adjusted frequency. We'll take here and here we'll take the 
class element okay now here we will take 1 centimeter is equals to 10 units so I am pointing here the 1 centimeter 1 centimeter is equals to 10 unit 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 okay so given data is 100 now on y axis we will take 1 centimeter is equals to 2 units so here I am pointing out the 1 centimeter okay take here 1 centimeter is equals to 2 units so this is 2 this is 4 6 this is 8 this is 10 okay now we need to draw the histogram for the given data so we can see here that is from 10 to 20 there are 6 adjectives we can see So from 20 to 30 I will point here 7 so here in between there will be 7 so here I will point this 7 now we will draw the rectangle for this so this will be okay so this will be from 20 to 30 now from 30 to 50 from 30 to 50 from between this so it is from 30 to 50 it is 7.5 can see that so 7.5 will come here that is 7 which is 7 and 7.5 will come here between this so we can mark here the line okay now we draw here for 30 to 50 so this is for 30 to 50 okay means the histogram for the following given data um, now I will write here on x axis we have taken 1 centimeter is equals to 10 unit and on y axis 1 centimeter is equals to 2 this is the answer thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.